Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to solve another question on uh, BFE.dev. It's uh, called "Can you shuffle an array?" I think I think I can. Um, it's number eight on BFE.dev. Uh, how would you implement a shuffle and pass with an array? You should modify the array line, generate a new, uh, generate a random picked permutation. Mm -hmm. So this one, two, three, four. There will be twenty-four permutations. We should you should return one of them at the same probability. Okay, my shuffle will be called multiple times to calculate the probability on each possible result and test against standard deviation. Well, I think I know what this problem wants to check. Um, so there is a, sh a naive uh, solution of this shuffle. I mean, we we'll just uh, look through the item and so I pick one and I will try to relocate this one to the random position, right? It could be placed at this zero, or here, or here, or here, and the relocation will be done by uh, swapping. So, and then after this done, I go to the next element and swap it. So that's pretty easy. Let's do, let's try to do what we want. So it's very simple. We loop through the indexes, And then <clears throat> get a random in the uh, next position, right? Random position, which should be J equals math floor uh, math random times length. Uh, yeah. And then we swap it. So it should be we swap the items at index I or J. <clears throat> So this is it. I think, yeah, this is a nice solution. Just uh, sh uh, swap the items uh, randomly. And actually, it doesn't work. So let's take a look at the uh, spec. We w it will be shuffled like uh, 100,000 times, one, two, three, four. And they will be, uh, they will check the occurrence of each permutation and calculate the deviation. I see. So actually, this is not really shuffle. Let's see why. Uh, let's just uh, take a look at the a uh, fewer items like uh, one to three. Okay, so like one and two and three. So let's see the probability of the first digit to be one or three. So when I shuffle one, it will be three possibilities. One, shuffle the first item. Yeah, it could be. Uh, one to one to three itself, or two, one, three, or three, uh, one, I know, three, two, one, right? This is after the first uh, swapping on the first element. So probability of the first item to be one, they already got. Okay, let's say uh, first digit to be one first digit to be three okay we got it will be one third right to be one this to be one and this to be three okay now it's one to be three yeah and then it will be uh we'll check take a look at the second element right second element is two if we swap two uh, to itself, then it is kept, so no, nothing right there, nothing changed. And if two is swapped to the first element, one will be gone. So it will be, uh, because at this time, the part probability is the same, we can omit it, we just ignore it. So at this step, they have the same probability. And now we need to oh, take, into, uh, take into consideration Consider the cases where one is moved out, moved to another uh, location. So when two this set loop took uh, two is kept here at the this position, one will be a uh, one will still be here, right? So it will be half like uh, one third of being here. And if two is uh, uh, swapped to three, it will be one three two. So at step two. Okay, step one. This is step two.
At step two, it just becomes different. So you see, for one, there will be one, one, it will be one third of, it means two kept uh, at this, uh, at index one. And a three can never be at here, right? So three actually will be zero. And for the case here, the, if one is kept here, it's zero. If one uh, mm, uh, swapped with two, there will still be one third. But for three, you'll never be there, right? In three, even if you are swapped, it will be three, two, one. Okay, three is still zero. And now, for the case here, one will be gone, no, no chance, right? And three actually have this one third. No. So start from the, the step two, things uh, becomes different. So the, actually, not all elements have the same probability uh, at being uh, to be put at the uh, position uh, uh, near index zero, right? Because it's already swapped, so you have fewer chances to be, be put there. So that's why the chances of three being at the position zero will be less than the probability of one being at the position zero. So this is not a, a strict uh, proof pr proof of this uh, of this problem, but it's, it's a general like easy way of thinking of, about it. So this actually is not the right shuffle. This is the wrong answer. Uh, not the right shuffle. Let's try to write a new one. So the the problem already the description here already gives us a hint that actually we need to choose one of out of these twenty four permutations, right? So when we choose a permutation, we need to choose it by step. Like we need to choose the first element and then choose the second element and the third one and the fourth one. So it means while well, we're not swapping anywhere, we need to pick the first one so as, and then second one. So when we are swapping, we're not swapping to, to any index, but the index uh, later than i, right? So for the in index 0, we need to choose the first element from the rest, uh, first element from the rest numbers, which means j, this is right. But for, for one, for, for here, we actually need to start from here, right? Start from one, because this one is already chosen. So for J, I would say it's not math for math random any index, but I plus math for math random AR length. Uh, I think it should be subtract sub, subtract it with uh, like i is zero wait a minute um, if it is just one then this should be uh, yeah okay I will say i am I right if zero yeah it is if one one plus a r n nth minus one It could be zero, and it could be itself. Yeah, I think this is right. Cool, that's it. So, yeah, I'll submit it. This is actually an interesting problem. Remember that we need to choose one of these permutations, and we need to choose the first element, the second element, the third one, the fourth one. Swapping and just to pick a pair and swap them. It is not a random, actually. It is not a random because you have, because you you still you loop through from the first index to the last. There will be uh, a chance. There will be more chances for the elements before, right? The fewer, the fewer the later. So that's it. I hope it helps. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.